In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily customize the wallets that are displayed in the wallet select modal of onboard.js. So to do that we pass in a wallet select parameter to the initialization object of onboard. We then pass an array of wallets which will define which wallets are displayed in the modal. So we can grab a couple of API keys for some SDK wallets. We've got Fortmatic and Portis here and we can initialize them in this array. We'll flip over to the docs here to have a look. So we've got docs.blocknative.com slash onboard and you can see how some of the wallets are initialized. We can go on ahead and grab Fortmatic and Portis, put it in our wallets array, and we'll see how it looks in the app. So we click log in, and you can see just Fortmatic and Portis there. Uh, this is an ordered array, so we could, we could flip the order of the wallets if we wanted to. Now Portis is first and Fortmatic second. Uh, we can also add in a couple of other wallets. Uh, so wallet name, MetaMask. And we could also add a mobile wallet such as Coinbase. And you can see here the top two wallets, we have this preferred parameter. And this allows you to define which wallets you want to be shown first to the user and which wallets that don't have the preferred are, that are set as backups to those wallets. So we can see what that looks like. So you can see our prefer wallets at the top here, and there's also a show more button, which allows the backup of MetaMask. You can also see that Coinbase wallet hasn't been shown here, and that's because Onboard detects whether the user's on desktop or mobile devices and shows the correct wallets uh, for that device. But we can switch over to mobile here, refresh. Again, you'll see our preferred wallets. We go show more, and then you can see Coinbase wallet as we're now on mobile. So that's how you can easily customize the wallets in the wallet select modal of onboard.js.